Hey traders, this is Ron Haydat at Market Tamer. I hope you're doing great. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Trading stocks and options involves risk and specific financial issues shall always be addressed with your financial advisor. We'll kick off here with a daily chart of the Qs and NASDAQ 100 ETF. It was down 2 plus percent, $4, and we are back below the five-day EMA. However, we're just playing a bunch of ping pong here. We got the 20-day EMA on the upside. We got the 200-day SMA in purple to the downside. That is an institutional moving average. You can see the spike in volume. The reds are definitely beating the blacks. The reds are the down days, the blacks are the up days. But net over the past couple of days, we're still sort of going nowhere fast overall. What could be happening here is just either a trading range or I could even draw in a bit of a pennant, if you will, and say, all right, now we're just bouncing, bouncing. We want to see something of a breakout, something above the red line, something above the orange line, which is the 50-day SMA, or get below the 200-day. Once we get the breakout, then we might have a new direction. As of right now, just choppy. Take a look at the SPY, which I have a bullish position in. It was down 1.4% today, held the 200-day moving average. If I zoom in a little closer, you can see it. We didn't actually even touch it. And then if we go to the SPX, it finished essentially right on its 200-day. And the same thing you know, holds true here. Um, we have higher lows, if you will. There's that trend line. And then just for argument's sake, to make it look pretty, I'll do that. That's not exactly a great trend line, but you see the point. We're just chopping. Technically, this would still be considered a bear flag candlestick pattern, where this is the flagpole and this is the flag. Overall, I still get bears the edge walking into expiration Friday tomorrow. All right, let's take a look at the DIA, the diamonds, down 1.2%. Again, still above the 200-day, but below the five-day, just chopping around. And I had mentioned to you guys previously that the fact that 20-day EMA in red and the 50-day SMA in orange are both coagulating there at 260, a spike above that would be bullish on a closing basis, and then the target is up here. So of all the major indexes, this one is the cleanest to identify a breakout to the upside if it happens. The transports, they lost 2.6% today, pretty good volume as well. If, I'm, if I go back, let's do two years in the transports. You can see some lows around 185 and then a whole bunch at 180. I would say at this point, the technical target does appear to be low 180s, that 180 area. And if I zoom back in, you can see how we, how the transports tried to get above the 200-day moving average yesterday and then closed you know, well below it. And then we just rolled over again today. Um, or the 200-day moving average in purple. We tried to get above that and then it rolled over. So it need to get above the 200-day in purple and the 20-day EMA in red to be a little more bullish on the daily. And then you have the 50 coming in. They got a lot of work doing the upside, but downside looks like about seven bucks or so technically. Um, here is Caterpillar. They were down 3.92%. They have earnings on the 23rd, but I bring this in because if this support at 130 would fail to hold, whether it's gonna be earnings driven that sends it below there or we're just a sell-off. The next major support, 110-ish, 105-ish, it's a long way down here on CAT. So keep an eye out on this one. The fact that we broke the 50-day, you know, a couple or last week or so, that was a bad sign. And then you just bear flag underneath it, you can't get back above it, and then today happens. All right, how about um, NVIDIA, NVDA? Now they reportedly were upgraded at Goldman with a conviction buy with a price target of 305 from what I saw. Stock was still down over three and a half bucks today. If you assume a 305 price target and you believe Goldman, you know, that's 70 plus dollars, 75 dollars to, to the upside. Now, NVIDIA does enter a seasonally bullish window, and it's one of the stocks that we keep an eye on in Q4 of each year. We're bear flagging right at the 200 day moving average. I'd be looking for something for a spike in volume a good spike in volume, close near the highs of the day. And that could be a potential mini buy signal, something I might want to watch for. And the next phase would be something to close above the 200 day. We'll see if this thing wants to start to make a turnaround right now. It's just not doing really well. In fact, I mean, if you think of the top, we've only had one, three up days. I like the past, well, frankly, the whole month, it's been about three up days. So I'll be watching NVIDIA. Here's PM, which is Philip Morris. Stock jumped three and a half percent today, despite the, the, the crappy overall market. I, will, I said to you guys, watch for earnings, and hopefully we don't get like a gap up, and then it just rips all day. Well, we did have a little bit of a gap up, and it did rip, but then it came back down to finish right on top of 
or 10 cents above its 200 day SMA in purple, that institutional average. So if we could close back above the 200 day tomorrow, the gap fill would be the target almost up at 100. So this one is still in play here for potential bullish trade idea. Um, TXT, which is Textron, this thing got hammered 11 plus percent. There's a little bit of support here, a little bit around 52.50, and then you're all the way down below 50. This one is not looking good at all. This one, so definitely a bearish, bearish one there. Here is PayPal. The earnings report was this morning, and it traded lower. It wasn't horrible, but this is also considered a bear flag. I know PayPal and Square have been being eyed because of Bitcoin and stuff, but there's more support around 70, about 10% lower. That's where I would put the technical target on that one. And another stock to keep an eye on here is Walmart. Despite the overall market selling off, Walmart's just hanging loose. If you remember back into August, I said, hey, we're right above the 200-day moving average, which is something I'd been watching for. But we were coming right into earnings. And the hope was the stock wouldn't gap up and take the potential gap fill off the table. And that's exactly what happened. So there was really no good high percentage trade idea there. But since then, it's just on this slow pause. So two things. I want to watch to see if the market bottoms and how Walmart responds. If we end up getting a surge in Walmart, close near the highs of the day, spike in volume, I would put the previous high on the table. So really good relative strength right now versus the overall market. And I want to see if it responds positively if and when the markets do turn around. That's it, folks. Wish you guys a fantastic rest of the day, a great Friday, and a super weekend ahead. Take good care.